Yes. You know, only a lady can gracefully walk around a room with a book on her head while eating Kung Pao chicken. I mean, a great lady can even spit the peanuts back into the container without anyone noticing. Wow. Yeah, well, don't be intimidated. You have to practice and practice to get to my level. Anyone want the last egg roll? Uh, no. Okay. Where are you going? To get the egg roll. You're getting the egg roll yourself? Yes. No. Ladies never get their own egg rolls. Ladies never get their own anything. They don't even get their own ideas. Oh, boy. They just sit helplessly and wait for some young, strong man to come by and assist them. They don't step in puddles. They don't step over puddles. They can't even look at puddles. They actually need to be blindfolded and thrown in a sack and carried over puddles. Isn't there a moratorium on how long ladies are supposed to talk? Uh, no. Now, repeat after me. I am completely helpless. Okay, so you pull the left side through the back loop and you tug a little bit on both sides and... You, my friend, might just be mistaken for a gentleman. Or a waiter. So how do you know how to do this? 17 cotillions, a dozen debutante balls, and a brief but scarring experiment with the children of the American Revolution. Where you wore nothing but the bow tie. A good idea on conception, but the sudden snowstorm instantly dampened the effect. Hey, uh, do you think it's cool when Neil Young wears a tux? Yeah, of course, but it's Neil Young. <sighs> All right, I should get going. I'll see you at three. Oh, wait. What's this? Your gloves. I thought you were kidding. No, no. Ladies never kid. Uh, bye. Bye. I think I'm going to bed, too. Do you need help? No. Wrong! The correct answer is yes! Ladies need help with everything! Good night. Oh. Night. Night. Hey. Just wanted to see you before you became a proper lady of society. So what do you think? I think you look like a cotton ball. <laughs> Why, thank you, Jeeves. But a really cute cotton ball. Oh, my God, is this your escort? Yeah, it is. You are totally getting married. <laughs> what did she say? Oh, well, Dad, great, let's go. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll meet you downstairs. Good luck. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. If everyone could please take their seats. We're about to get started with... Last chance to shimmy down the drain pipe. Do me a favor? Anything. Just don't let me fall. Right back at you. Lorelei Gilmore, daughter of Christopher Hayden and Lorelei Gilmore. It should have been you up there. Nothing's turning out the way it was supposed to. So did you know that you're considered a hot dad? Ha! Really? Libby said that it's too bad you're my real dad because if you were my stepdad, I could steal you away from mom. Yeah, that Libby's got a good life ahead of her. Well, I was very proud of all of you. You made it through the entire ceremony with a completely straight face. Almost, all of you. I'm sorry, but that fan dance was more than I could take. <laughs> Hey, I need burger. Me too, Dean. Uh, honestly, the only thing I can think of is taking off this tux. Hey, watch it. You're talking to a lady now. Well, how about if I do it at home? Better. Thanks again for going with me. Tomorrow you start paying. Bye. Bye. <laughs> 